Good morning, everyone. I don't know why it is, but for whatever reason, I play multiplayer on controller. I play Warzone better on mouse and keyboard. I don't know why. I think that's because when I started playing Warzone, I was pretty into the competitive esports scene, and I try to like play mouse and keyboard because of the advantage that it gives you. At least the advantage I thought it gave me. Obviously, that didn't end up working out. I actually just stopped playing Warzone altogether. Anyways, I know I'm pretty late to the party. So yesterday, I actually saw a few tweets about the game yesterday between the USA and England. It's about people saying things like, "I watched an hour and a half just for a draw." Did you actually like sit down and? Pay Pay attention to the game i got chills like three times when england was about to score or when the u.s was about to score dude if you actually sat down and paid attention and watched the game it was a great fucking game especially for defense if anything the defense made the game worth to watch actually right now i know that france and denmark is playing as i'm recording i'm pretty neutral on both teams later on today i'm gonna watch mexico play versus argentina that should be a good game i actually voted for the in-game card i voted for uh, mexico even though i don't personally think mexico is gonna win against argentina if they do win or at least come to a draw i do get the calling card honestly if i want to find out who's gonna win today i just have to go to tim the tatman's twitter and see who he's playing for and then play against that this is the first time i'm actually watching a soccer game from start to finish and like actually paying attention and i might only be enjoying it because it's like the best of the best but anyways i wanted to talk about how in a while this is the first time i woke up and actually like wanted to play a game like i woke up and my first thought my first thought was i can't wait to go and record modern warfare 2. i haven't had that since like the golden age of fortnite if you know what i'm talking about i miss that feeling so much even with games like resident evil i wake up and i'd be like oh yeah i guess i can play resident evil today games for the past like two three years maybe have always felt like a chore to play they've never felt like something i want to do talking about this game i know there's been a lot of like talk about aim assist now it's three percent better and shit personally i don't care for any of that like i honestly just keep all my settings on default and find a good sensitivity that that works in my controller I feel like the more that I fuck with the aim assist settings, the more I fuck with the calibration and the dead zone, the more that like I'll get into my own head and I'll overthink the settings. I know right now the community is still trying to like figure out what's good and what's not. So when people who are way smarter than me figure out what works for the game and what doesn't, I'm just going to keep my shit on default. Maybe one day I'll try out like what the community says is like the best sensitivity or like the best settings for a controller. That's what I usually do. If I don't like it, I don't like it. Then I'll just switch back to default, which is what I play on. Every Call of Duty I played on, I've kept my settings on default. So it's all muscle memory. If they're not, if they're not, will you watch this? Sure. Go ahead. I know the game of the year is coming up in like two weeks. Elden Ring has been getting shit for getting the best narrative. I understand why people are upset with it because Elden Ring doesn't straight up tell you what the story is. You have to explore. It's going against God of War, which personally, I never played it. Fuck you. I heard that the story is phenomenal. So I'm part of that fan base where as soon as I saw Elden Ring and like the other games, like I think Stray was actually a nomination, not for best narrative, but for like game of the year. I don't know why Stray got so many fucking nominations. I don't know who pulled some strings there. Stray was a good game, but it's definitely not anything compared to Elden Ring or God of War. Even though I haven't played God of War, from what I hear about it, I understand that it's a really good game. I just haven't got my hands on it yet. But Elden Ring was such a good game. Elden Ring got me into open world games. I was always a stickler for only playing FPS tiles. And then I played Elden Ring. And I feel like it opened my third eye, especially playing others from software games. I started playing Sekiro. I haven't finished that one yet, but the combat in that game is phenomenal. It just feels so smooth. But I never would have played that if I didn't play Elden Ring. I don't think I've ever played a game before where it made me play the other games from that publisher other than Call of Duty. As soon as I got done with Elden Ring, I wanted to play Sekiro. I wanted to play Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls 2. Personally, I think the aim assist in this game is fine. I understand people who compete on controller and they want to, um, they want to find the best setting, but... Communicating through soundboards. Oh! Shit. Holy shit. What the fuck? Oh. <laughs> Bro, that happened right when I got flashed in Warzone. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was part of the game. <laughs> Hold on. You got you heard that right as you got flashed. Yeah, dude. <laughs> that shit was like <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! Bro. <laughs> That's hilarious! He gets flashed and all the sneakers. There's an automatic. No! Did you put it in there? I swear, it takes me like five minutes to reload my gun. I used to get so mad, like. 
especially in cold war when i was sniper only in the previous call of duty games all of the beginning snipers like before you get all the attachments they're so ass look at how long it takes me to scope in it's insane it, it shouldn't take that long i feel like every game they give it like a half a second longer because in the older call of duties you just get a sniper and it'll be good and you can just play it and it was fun now it's like a chore to make your sniper get good which i don't mind because i've been only playing with snipers on controller my entire time i've been playing call of duty when i have to level up my sniper like it doesn't really feel like a chore if this is your first call of duty and you want to like get into sniping there's no way because it's so ass i've been gone for a couple of months not just off of youtube but away from my actual house i don't want to go too much into details i know that the weekend before i came home there was supposedly a really good ufc fight between chandler and Poirier, which i wanted to watch so fucking badly i heard that fight was really bloody i heard it was like re a really good fight and i think Poirier won with a uh with a guillotine if that was the case holy wow I, I, dude I, I would pay to watch that fight live i can't stand them screaming their moves but like a pokemon the before they have to fucking perform it just finish it just that's pretty much it. every fucking, fucking anime though the fucking the fucking characters are like i just can't like when they're just like i have to heal your arm with my with my warmth of my hand with my my abs put your arm on my abs it'll warm you he won that's literally oh. one 10 second clip from one episode speed wagon. Oh, you didn't have to do this to me speed wagon he's crying Part he's one. literally crying speed wagon why would you do this i'm not that good for you to just let me rest my arm on your ass oh uh what's his name fucking frog punching man frog punching man uh, huh zapelli zapelli I love you. But one thing I do want to like get good at is just like pressing record and just talking about whatever. I'm just used to doing it on stream, but to actually just record and like know that if I do say something funny, like, I can edit it and then have it in a YouTube video and then have someone comment on it. I'm not used to that. I'm just used to like streaming and then saying something and then like someone in the chat immediately responding, not having that uh, immediate response from anyone in the chat. If there is anyone in my chat, what's the word I'm looking for? Irrelevant. I was listening to some ordinary podcast and they were talking about YouTubers who are like open predators and they're still on the platform. And that just amazes me. I, I don't want to hear anything about YouTube regulation and YouTube TOS when there are people who have literally admitted or have literally committed a crime on camera and they're still on the platform. I saw a moist critical video. He covered like a prankster or a quote unquote prankster. He literally like stole a bike from walmart on camera i've seen it with my own two eyes his channel like as far as i know it's still up i like on overwatch too they like remove metals to remove toxicity but now you can literally see who's bottom fragging on your team and the enemy team they remove something to get rid of toxicity and then they added another thing that just invites people just to be even more toxic that's gonna do it for this first recording i don't know what i'm going to set as my outro yet so i'm just gonna end the video